Uh, here to pick up Daryl Perry. It's December 15th, 2014, Bill of Rights Day. I'm here at the Cheshire County House of Corrections, also known as the Keene Spiritual Retreat. Daryl's just spent three days here for non-payment of a fine. Yeah, he has a valid Arizona driver's license that has not expired. But he drives in New Hampshire quite often, and the police are like, you are a resident of New Hampshire. You have to get our license now. You can't have Arizona license. You have to have New Hampshire license. That piece of plastic cannot stay. You must have a different piece of plastic. And Daryl just won't, he won't do that. Uh, for whatever reason, he's alleging, I am not a resident. I am an inhabitant. He lives in kind of a bus thing, so he is kind of transient, so I can see the argument being made there. Then again, his license plate is like Wisconsin or, or uh, another one of those states. So I don't know. We'll see. I want to see what his reactions are to uh, being on the inside in jail. Yeah, he's been to jail lots of times before, but as a guard. <laughs> so now, right? Yeah. <clears throat> You've been in this jail lots of times. How many times? Hmm. At least two or three yeah. that I can think of. And that was like sentenced. That wasn't no, just like was arrested an, and thrown in. A, well, yeah, okay, so three, at least three times because one was an overnight that I did here. Um, another one was the trespass of 12. And then there was the 60-day six, sentence, or the 58 days that I mm -hmm. spent here. Mm -hmm. But what Daryl's saying is that... Uh, He's not a resident, even if he were living in a, in a house, because the idea is like resident is sort of this legalese, legal land term that, uh, you know, they want you to be a resident because, like, you know, you have to do certain things as a resident. But if you're an inhabitant, you don't have to do the same things the resident does. So the big question is, is residency something that you choose or something that they force upon you? And it looks like it's something they force upon you. <laughs> I should laugh. Yeah, I shouldn't laugh because, you know, you guys are actually ending up in cages for this stuff, but it's like, how could that be that uh, residency is foisted upon you? Daryl lives in a van. He could be anywhere. He could move any day. Uh, anyway, yeah, I've recognized this guy. He's um, one of the sheriffs, sheriff's deputies, who's been generally pretty nice to me in the past, if I remember. I thought. Hey, how's it going? Great. <sighs> Did they give any sort of estimate as to how long it'll be? Oh, oh I'm, I'm hearing something. Woo! Hey! hey! <laughs> What's up, Daryl? Good to see you. How you feeling? Welcome back. A little disoriented. Yeah. How were the accommodations? I was in our block. Really? Uh, classification all weekend. Classification. Right. So you were segregated from our block. Right. In our block, you weren't able to be out. Well, I got that hour and a half a day, and then everybody else that was classification I got to hang out with. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you did. Technically, they didn't segregate them. Right. Tell us about it, Daryl. So, they had me in classification all weekend. What does they that mean? Uh, that's where they determine, you know, where to put you. And they told me just before lunch today, uh, the classification guy called me out and he was like, um, okay, so normally people that are in here for fines wind up going into segregation where you're locked up for 23 hours a day. You're still in classification. We never got you there, so uh, I have no reason to see you. Interesting. Yeah. Did you get the policy on whether or not they punish people who don't pay fines with solitary confinement? I did not because I was never placed in solitary confinement. Right. So that guy did confirm it verbally to you. Yes. Oh, hello. Sorry, I was on the inside a second. 
So yeah, uh, he, he did verbally confirm it, uh, but uh, I didn't ask for the policy, so I think yeah. I'll just 91A it. Okay. okay, cool. What's the plan now? Uh, not hungry because I just ate lunch. Uh, I need to get a podcast done. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Take you back to the cut? Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Daryl. So Ian has just stopped here at the jail and asked Daryl if he wants to get his picture taken in front of the Cheshire County House of Corrections. Uh, get one by myself and then have one with me and Derek. Cool. Ah, check it out. You guys want to go up? Yeah.